Hello and welcome to Unit 2 of Java Applications 2. Um, this week you're going to specifically start with exceptions, advanced file input output, and GUI applications. Now all of these will help us complete the assignments uh, for this particular week, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to exceptions and what they indicate. The idea behind you, you start working with try, catch, and throwing exceptions and things along these lines is exceptions are what happens when things go wrong and how you handle them. Um, as you go through, you think about, okay, if everything's going right, or everything's correct, you're going to go right. But when something's not correct, it goes left. And then we're talking about code, okay? So when it goes left, what do you do with it? And that's where the exceptions come from. When you expect a string, you don't get a string. When you expect an injury, you don't get an injury. When you expect range of values and you don't get that range of values, how do you respond to that? Because the program itself will throw an error code, and if you don't, or the compiler itself will throw an error code, and if you don't do anything with it, it'll say, hey, I got an error. I still have it. But you, you're the one that has to do something to it, and you have to react to it and make modifications to it. So kind of keep that in mind as you go through. Uh, you start dealing with advanced file, input, output, saving the file, bringing things from a file, how you uh, check the end of file marker, how you do different things along those lines. And those are awesome. But one of the things that we go into this particular week, or one of the things that you use, is GUI applications. Also, graphic user interface, or GUI, right? Because we're computer people and we love abbreviations. But one of the things you have to keep in mind as you go through is that a lot of students get to GUIs and they go, oh, I don't like GUIs, it's really hard, blah, blah, blah. If you get over the hump, the GUI hump, right, if you get over the graphic user interface hump and you get on the other end of it and you start to kind of work with it and things along those lines, you'll realize how beneficial it is if you're able to visually grab information from your user and prompt them. Because we as users respond much better to pictures than we do written word. And so you kind of keep that in mind as you go through designing things because though it takes a lot of upfront understanding, if you work with it and you start to really grasp a hold of that, I've never had a student go through GUIs and say, that wasn't worth it. Every student that goes through it says, man, this is hard. And I tell them, it's going to be hard. It's going to take longer. It's going to be more involved. But every time they get on the other end of it, they're like, wow, this is really neat. I really like it. I really understand it, blah, 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 blah. But you ha it does take some investment. So make sure that you're kind of prepared for that investment as you go through. Uh, and make sure that you're just aware that, okay, this is going to be difficult. Um, some of you may be perfectly fine with it. Others of you may not. Otherwise, remember your due dates. Remember to respond in, uh, to your uh, peers as well as myself. Make sure to support what you're saying. Make sure to support your initial uh, statement as well as if you are going to respond. Well, if. When you are going to respond to your peers, make sure to have that information there. Other than that, thank you very much for your time. I look forward to hearing what you have to say, or rather reading what you have to say.